Hi YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to set up Exposé in Spaces, a basic Mac user tutorial. So first you want to open up System Preferences, which you can find either on your dock if you have it, or you can go to the Apple icon here and click System Preferences, as I'm showing you right now. So um, you can click the Espo Exposé in Spaces icon, and um, now let, I'll show you how to set it up and all your different options. So if you click the es Exposé tab right here, um, it shows a picture of your desktop and uh, these um, these menus right here they can show you what happens if you drag your mouse into each of these four corners so um, you can set it um, any corner to do anything any one of these options so all windows um, to demonstrate that um, if you if you choose all windows then it'll look like this it'll just um, show all of your windows smaller so that you can see what you have up at the time. Uh, desktop means um, it hide, it uh, moves all your windows off screen so that you can just see your desktop. Uh, spaces means activate spaces. And dashboard it, um, means um, your, your widgets. You can also set it to uh, start or disable screen saver and, screen saver. and um, you can also set it to do sleep display um, so uh, these are my custom settings you can pick and choose um, now you can also set um, these these different options right here all windows application windows and show desktop to uh, different buttons besides corners so um, any of these buttons you can set to uh, activate different expose functions uh, also as I said you can also do that with dashboard. You can choose one of these um, function buttons to activate dashboard. Uh, so you can customize that. Then if you click spaces, uh, make sure the check is uh, checked for enable spaces. Um, and you can choose it if you want to show it in the menu bar. It will appear right here. Um, so you can have that option. Uh, your default looks like this with two rows and two columns you can add rows and columns you can do as many as you want um, you can do up to sixteen rows and columns i mean sixteen spaces so um... i like to have uh... two rows and three columns um, you can choose a uh... An, a function key to activate spaces um, but that's only if you have the setting off in keyboard and trackpad where the function keys act as their normal functions. Um, to switch between spaces, spaces um, you choose um, either control, alt, or command to function as um, the space switcher when you hold down that in the arrow key. So if I want to choose command, if I hold down command and right, it'll go to the next space. Hi. Um, so, and um, to switch directly to a space, you use a button and number key. So if I were to click command 4, it would go to space 4. Um, so, uh, yeah, those are about all the options you have. And um, that's the tutorial. Hope it was helpful.